Watching the season opener today with family and friends, why not make a dip for game day? Amy's got a great spicy dip everybody will love. Let's get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey there, welcome back everybody. I'm so pumped up for the big game and I hope you are too. Maybe you're going to the game, going to be tailgating, or maybe you're having some people over to watch the game like me. Well, I'm always looking for a different fun dip recipe and boy do I have one for you today. If you like buffalo chicken wings, love those. I'm going to show you how to make a buffalo chicken wing dip. Way easier than the wings. Everybody loves it and just something a little different than chips and salsa. So we're going to bake this dip. We're going to start out with two blocks of softened cream cheese and we're just going to press that into a casserole dish that you can put into the oven. So just kind of spread that around. And you can certainly make this dip this morning, get it all ready, and then just bake it right before halftime or right before the game. So you can get it all out of the way today. So just spread that cream cheese around, two blocks of cream cheese. Then we've got a couple cups of shredded cooked chicken breast. So if you're, you know, maybe going to do um, some chicken, um, do a couple extra and just shred it up or chop it up. And we're going to add to that some hot sauce, you know, the kind that you make wings with. Just going to toss that together. And it depends how spicy you like it as to how much sauce you want to put in there. So your favorite wing sauce, just pour it on top of the cooked, shredded or chunked chicken. Just give it a good toss. Make sure there's plenty of that sauce. Oh, it smells so good love wings. My son Riley loves wings too now. So we go have wings together. So this chicken with that sauce just goes right on top of the cream cheese. Just kind of spread it around. I don't know about you, but I have to have blue cheese with my wings and my celery to dip in and kind of cool off. So we're going to add some blue cheese dressing. You could also do ranch if you're not a fan of blue cheese. That would be fine too. You just kind of put that on top. And no, I did not make that homemade. Sometimes you got to take help from your grocery store. So I just picked up some refrigerated blue cheese dressing right in the produce section of the grocery store and just kind of spread that around. And just about every good dip I know of has shredded cheese on top. So we're going to do some shredded cheddar, you could do all cheddar. I thought some Monterey Jack would be pretty on top, too. And there you have it. This goes into the oven. Preheated 350-degree oven. Only takes, what, 15, 20 minutes to bake? Not long at all. But you want to pull it out when it's warm and bubbly. You want to serve this dip warm. Check it out. It looks so good. And you can serve it with uh, maybe some chopped scallions on top just for some color, some chopped parsley, and then you got to have some fun dippers. So I like to serve this. I've got this great veggie and dip tray here, um, you know, cute little Packers veggie and dip tray. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can. So you can, you know, dip the celery and the, and the cauliflower and the broccoli and the carrots right in that dip. You can also serve it with, with um, crackers and, of course, get a Packers cake and a Packers flower centerpiece and, and you're good to go. And, of course, go Pack Go! got to be a good game too. So enjoy the game, make this dip, and uh, recipe, by the way, is on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival of Foods. We'll be back. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.